Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, we'll start with our uh, uh, usual uh, discussions on Indian geography. Uh, here we'll uh, discuss the many vital aspect of Indian geography and it is related to uh, the conceptual ability also. So here one thing I have to say that one, uh, that particularly uh, we'll uh, say, uh, we can say uh, the questions from the questions from your uh, Indian geography is really conceptual and uh, basically uh, the facts are embedded in it. The facts are embedded in it. Facts are embedded with it in it. So let's go for that one. Indian geography dictionary. Uh, first question, Potham question, the amenity of islands consist of five islands of which of the Indian territory? Amenity of islands, particularly, it is Andaman and Nicobar Island, Lakshadip, Pondicherry and Damandiv. Five islands of which of the Indian territory? Amenity of islands consist of five islands of which of the Indian territory? Co Indian territory. Andaman, Nicobar, Lakshadip, Pondicherry and Damandiv. It is your B for Bombay, that is your Lakshadip. The next, the source of Bankingham Canal is located in which, in which state in India? Source of Bankingham Canal, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, both A and B, and Karnataka. Source of Bankingham Canal. Source of Bankingham Canal. It is in the Andhra Pradesh, basically. Okay. The amenity group subgroup of islands consists of Amini, Keltan, Chetlat, Kadmat, Bitra, and Perumala Par Island. It is one of the three island subgroups in Lakshadweep and is separated by Lakidabic Island subgroup roughly by the 11th parallel line. <laughs> the amenity describes Kariba amenity by island. Then, if I draw here, it is better here. Amenity by group of islands. These are the group of islands. Here it is Kabrati. Okay. This is the your Lakshadi group of islands. Laksha Vip group of island. Right? Roughly 11 parallel north, particularly. Roughly 11 parallel north. Right? Bankyam Canal is a 796 kilometer uh, long freshwater navigation canal that parallels the Coromandel coast of South India from Kakinada city. Right? That parallels the Coromandel coast of South India. From Kakinada city in the East Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh. Bankyam Canal. To Villuparam district in Tamil Nadu. East Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh to Villupuram district of Tamil Nadu. Mostly, particularly uh, Pondicherry ki and particularly it connects, it's near about the, the it is 800 kilometer Pakhavaki. The canal connects most of the natural backwaters along the coast to Chennai, Madras port, declared national waterway. This is also known as the national waterway for hello? that connects your Kakinada to your Villupuram or Puducherry. This is your National Waterway 4.
it is godavari river badrachalam rajmundri kakinada la kakinada canal then wajirabad vijayawada this is bankimhan canal this one this is pondicherry This is your Bankimam canal. This is your Bankimam canal. This is Wajirabad. Okay, so here uh, we can say this uh, bang, uh, this National Waterway for Jota Gamma Coach, Jota Kakinadaru, it to Kakinadaru till Pondicherry. This is the source of Bankimam canal. It up your monkey home canal coach. Barthaman Krishna Sangaru connect Halani and Krishna Guniki at a thousand ninety four, let's say eleven hundred kilometer coach. Next, the cure. What is the principal language of Nagaland? It is your Naga, Khasi, English, Mizu. Principal language of Nagaland. It is your English. C. Next, the Ganga Brahmaputra River Delta is the largest river delta of the world. The Ganga Brahmaputra River Delta is a tide dominated delta, basically. Right? It is a tide dominated delta. The Ganga Brahmaputra River Delta has Meghna River on its east. Has Meghna River on its east. The largest river delta in the world, this is correct, is a tide dominated delta, is the Magna River, uh, has it on its east, Magna River on its east. Center, uh, the answer is your uh, Magna River, uh, uh, Magna River, it is on the west side, so uh, sorry, it is uh, the all of the are correct. All are correct here. Next, English is the official language of the language and the language of education. Nagaland is one of the three states in India where the population is mostly Christian. So, mostly Christian. Nagaland became the 16th state of India. On 1st December 1963, and Ireland become the 16th state, particularly. Light is the 16th. The 16th state of India, and we and uh, in India on 1st December 1963. Sixteen December, sixteenth state of India, and first December, nineteen sixty-three. Christian. Yeah. Nagaland the capital, jadi koi ba English la dar official language. Nagaland the capital, it is your Kohima. Yeah. Kohima is the capital of Nagaland. Ganga Delta is a river delta in the Bengal region of the Indian subcontinent consisting of Bangladesh and the Indian state of West Bengal. Now, Bangladesh and Indian state of West Bengal. It is world's largest river delta and it empties into the Bay of Bengal. 
है ना बे अफ बेंगल को यहाँ एमटाइज हो It is world's largest delta, M times the Bay of Bengal, with the combined waters of several river systems, mainly those of the Brahmaputra River and the Ganges River. It is also one of the most fertile regions of the world. Hello, world is a thick bit fertile region. Which one? Ganga Brahmaputra. It is like this. This is your Avitru. This is Ganga, and this is your Brahmaputra. is the world's largest river delta and it empties into the bay of bengal with the combined waters of several river systems mainly those of the brahmaputra river and the ganges river brahmaputra and the <coughs> ganges river it is also one of the most fertile regions in the world world are most fertile regions and thus earning the nickname of the green delta The delta stretches from Hooghly River east as far as Meghna. The delta stretches from the Hooghly River. The delta stretches from the Hooghly River. Hooghly River east as far as Meghna. The delta जो गांव बताओ बेटा Hooghly River नहीं के, है ना here it is Hooghly. ठीक है जी ठीक है आज पर आज टोटल डेल्टा तो डेल्टा स्ट्रेचेस फ्रॉम मुगली रिवर आज पर आज मेघना विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द लार्जेस्ट एंड ब्रॉडेस्ट रिवर ऑफ साउथ इंडिया लार्जेस्ट एंड द ब्रॉडेस्ट रिवर कृष्णा गोदावरी नर्मदा एंड तापी Largest and the broadest river of South India. Largest and the broadest river of South India. It is Godavari before Bombay. In India, the rainfall is. Hello, we'll discuss. In India, the rainfall is mainly orographic. Which among the following defines the word based orography? The rainfall occurs when the most of when the moist air becomes saturated. The rainfall occurs when the masses of air pushed by wind are forced off by large mountains the rainfall occurs only one side of the mountains the rainfall is lesser in rain shadow area like here the rainfall occurs when the masses of air pushed up by the orography answer is your b hello we'll explain this one we'll discuss The Godavari is the largest river of peninsular India. It is known as your Dakshin Ganga or Bridha Ganga, Old Ganga, hella right? Dakshin Ganga or the Bridha Ganga because of its age, size and length. Right? Age, size and length. It is navigable in the deltaic region. Right? It is navigable. In the delta region, hello, navigable in the delta region, be navigable source of origin of Godavari River. Hello, it it rises from a place called Trimbak, located in the Western Ghat in Nashik district, in the state of Maharashtra. Hello, this is Nashik district. Is agar 
गोदावरी टू बाहरी के टिल है ना इट इज नेविगेबल इन द डेल्टाइक रीजन सोर्स ऑफ ओरिजिन इज गोदावरी रिवर है ना प्राइमबैक प्राइमबैक बी वन ऑफ द ज्योतिर्लिंग दैट इज त्रयंबकेश्वर त्रयंबकेश्वर है ना बारहटा ज्योतिर्लिंग भगवान शिवजी को अच्छी भितर त्रयंबकेश्वर इज वन अफ द नासिक जो देख नासिक इज अल्सो फेमस फर योर अरेंज है ना अरेंज पे भी द रेनफॉल अकर्स व्हेन द मास ऑफ एयर जब मुझे देखी हुई सब्सिक्वेंटली कौन हो दिस इज द योर रेन साइडो एरिया and this is your sorry i'm sorry this is windwards this is rain side area this is a uh, windward side this is windward side and this is leeward side or a rain side area The orographic rainfall occurs due to the ascent of air, na? Posed by the mountain barrier, na? The mountain barrier should be across the wind direction. A mountain barrier should be across the wind direction so that the moisture is forced in obstruction to move upward and get cooled. Na? Forced upward and get cooled. ब्लैक पगोडा इज लोकेटेड इन व्हिच स्टेट तमिलनाडु केरला ओडिसा एंड आंध्र प्रदेश इट इज ओडिसा ना सी इट इज ओडिसा ब्लैक पगोडा वी विल डिस्कस ब्लैक पगोडा कोटा को हाउ जी Next, the answer the following statements. Most of the wool produced in India is not enough to fulfill the demand of the country. Most of the wool produced in India is not apparel grade. आंसर इट हो बोथ आर करेक्ट नेक्स्ट देखा कोणार्क टेंपल इज कॉल्ड ब्लैक पगोडा फॉर इट्स डार्क इन कलर अ कोणार्क टेंपल कोणार्क एक्चुअली द सन टेंपल है ना कोणार्क टेंपल इज योर सन टेंपल इज डेडिकेटेड टू सन भगवान सूर्य भगवान दिस इज योर कोणार्क टेंपल फॉर इज डार्क इन कलर एंड ड्यू टू ब्लैक ग्रेनाइट स्टोन ब्लॉक्स है ना ब्लैक ग्रेनाइट स्टोन ब्लॉक्स द ब्यूटीफुल सन टेंपल इज द अपेक्स ऑफ द कलिंगन टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर कलिंगर टेंपल आर्किटेक्चर है द ब्यूटीफुल आर्किटेक्चर and is one of the most spectacular memorials of religious architecture all over the world right yeah, that is is a uh, is one of the most spectacular memorials of religious architecture 
this architecture is spectacular example over the world. The temple, it is a world heritage site. It is also known as the Black Pagoda. It is a masterpiece of temple art and architecture. Hello, masterpiece of temple art and architecture. India is the ninth largest producer of wool in the world and with the global production share of nearly 2%, 2% global share. India's wool consumption is expected to reach 260 million kg by 2019-20. Wool consumption is expected to reach 260 million kg. The wool industry is concentrated in Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan, UP, Maharashtra, and Gujarat. Punjab accounts about 35% of the wool production units in India, followed by Maharashtra and Rajasthan. Hello. Accounts about 35% of the wool production. Punjab accounts about 35 percent. The thing will be achieved with 35 percent. Hello, the more Punjab near about mm. particularly Punjab Jagachi Ludhiana uh, Ludhiana number one, number two, the Jalandar. Ulin Kamabai, famous for famous for Ulin clothes. What sort of factory do you see? Famous for your Ulin clothes, basically. Punjab is industrially uh, also rich, uh, industrially very developed country, a very developed state, Punjab. Punjab's per capita income is too high, though it is mainly agrarian products are mainly confined in the Punjab sector. Next, the Hiraku Dam. One of the world's longest southern dam is located in which among the following states? Hirakud Dam. Odisha. Pipa Bob in Gujarat is based known for which among the following? India's first private port, first greenfield refinery, first sea breaking ad, none of the above. Pipa Bob. Pipa Bob is the one. Pipa Bob is the first private port. Okay. Pipa Bob Port, India's <coughs> first private port in private sector. It is a port on the west coast of India for containers, bulk, and liquid cargo. Hello? Containers, bulk, and liquid cargo. It's Lead promoter is APM terminals. Hello? Lead promoter is APM terminals. 
Now the largest container terminal operator in the world. APM terminal is the largest container terminal in the world. AP. Hiraku Dam is a composite structure of the earth, concrete and masonry. Earth, concrete, composite structure of the earth, concrete and masonry. 10 km north of Sambalpur, it is the longest major earthen dam in India. The longest major earthen dam in India measuring 26 km, okay. including the dikes and stand across the Manadi river, the dikes and stands. Okay, Hirakud Jadi Dekhiwa, Hirakud, Hirakud Dam. Longest imaginary dam in India. Okay. Our Jadi in dikes have all come on it. Good, Jimti. Good, Bondha time to eat. There are dikes, walls, and so empty three. Okay. Dikes, walls are like this one. Hirakud, uh, it is not only Hirakud is not only the longest dam of India. Also Also, the longest dam in the world. Also, the longest dam in the world. Next, the Which of the following site are objective of the National Horticulture Mission under Mission for Integrated Development on Horticulture? Hello? Mission uh, objectives of National Horticulture Mission under Mission Integrated Development on Horticulture. Integrated Development on Horticulture. Supply of quality planting materials, rational and productivity improvements, creation of infrastructure for post harvest management, okay. supply of quality planting material, production of productivity management, creation of infrastructure for post harvest management. Production and productivity improvement as not agriculture. So it is uh, all are correct. D. And which of which Indian state has emerged as the first organic state and cleanest state in the country? Okay, which of the Indian state has first organic state and the cleanest state in the country? It is Sikkim. The centrally sponsored scheme launched in 2005-06 for the promotion of holistic growth of the horticulture sector comprising fruits, vegetables, root and tuber, crops, mushroom, spices, 
flowers, aromatic plants, cashew and cocoa. Supply of quality planting material through establishment of nurseries and tissue culture units, production and productivity improvement programs through area expansion and rejuvenation, technology promotion, technology dissemination, human resource development, okay, creation infrastructure for the post harvest management and marketing concerns with the comparative advantage of East state region and the diverse agroclimatic regions are some of the major programs under National Horticulture Mission. And there are the major programs of National Horticulture Mission. NHM was earlier running as an independent program. Uh, earlier independent program record thale. now since 2014 it is a part of MIDH Sikkim Sikkim fully implemented organic state uh, statewide becoming India's first organic state right? while in 2016 it is restricted the usage of plastic water bottles in the government functions and meetings right? government functions or meetings right? and strive from stereo from products becoming India's clean state no one here right? becoming the clean state no one here uses plastics no one smokes right? no one smokes in public areas and no one urinates in open and no one litters there is penalty for every violation in Sikkim right? there is penalty in every violation in Sikkim so Sikkim is the greenest state particularly right? this is the greenest state Sikkim is the greenest state okay that is penalty for every violations in Sikkim Penalty for every violation in Sikkim, we can say. Consider the following crops uh, sorghum. Guar plant and barley, sorghum, uh, guar plant and barley, which of the above are drought resistance or drought tolerant crops, now, drought resistant and drought tolerant crops particularly, copaya, sorghum, guar plant and barley. Mm -hmm. So we can say uh, uh, your uh, copaya, sorghum and guar plant. So 1, 2, 3 are correct. A is correct. A is correct particularly. Okay. 3 is the problem. Hello. Good afternoon. Madam Clark. I'm going to class. 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 Hmm. Move. 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 Move.
Next, Palla River water dispute is between which which two states? Palla River, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh and Odisha particularly. Hello. Palla River dispute is between the which two states? Dita Vittar. Palla River is basically your dispute between uh, your Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. B for Bombay. We'll discuss. Goa is a drought tolerant and multipurpose annual arid legume crop. Goa is a drought tolerant multipurpose annual arid legume crop barley is not a drought tolerant crop barley is one of the most affected crops due to drought Hello. drought tolerant and multipurpose annual arid legume crop barley is not drought tolerant crop Barley is one of the most affected crops due to drought, particularly. So, actually, barley is a particularly uh, barley, uh, um, which is a uh, drought tolerant, uh, drought intolerant crop. Basically, we can say drought intolerant crop and guar. Uh, and legume, they are the your uh, particularly drought uh, resistant crops. They are basically means I mean they can withstand during the drought time also. Hello? Palla River originates in the Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, uh, particularly your. Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh uh, Palla River dispute in between Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Palla River originates in the Nandadurga hills of Kolla district of Karnataka, particularly. It flows through the Vellore Kanchipuram. Pallar uh, uh, flows through uh, the Kanchipuram district of Tamil Nadu, particularly. So Palla River, the uh, it is in uh, between the uh, <coughs> for uh, it is uh, a long-standing dispute. Now Supreme Court uh, is also giving an warning about this. Before Tamil Nadu, the river flows through 33 kilometers in Andhra Pradesh. Palla River water dispute within Tamil Nadu, and was it was recently in the news. Tamil Nadu government has approached the Supreme Court seeking a permanent injunctions against the newly bifurcated Andhra Pradesh from building new check dams, particularly new check dams and diversion structures on the river.
structure in the river, particularly. Palla dam, right? Diversion structure in the river, particularly. So, uh, this is a long standing di dispute between your Andhra Pradesh, uh, Palla River. Uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh is forming new check dams and diversion structure in the river. So, since Andhra Pradesh uh, do uh, mane ita through Palla River ta tumar uh, your Karnataka ru Karnataka Andhra Pradesh uh, like flow is so that is uh, particularly uh, reversely it is affected particularly la? reversely it is affected Palla dams la? Palla dams it is reversely affected. And Andhra Pradesh, it is flows through uh, from Karnataka to uh, Karnataka uh, your uh, Andhra Pradesh, then your uh, your uh, drain into your Bay of Bengal, right? and your uh, your uh, Vellore through Vellore and near to your Chennai, right? near to your Chennai. If you see your Palla River, it is uh, dense particularly. Kanchipuram So it is a long standing but Andhra Pradesh government works on new dams for no Chipala river and that is measure the diversion structures and there is a major bone of contention between your Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Consider the following pairs uh, Bandar project diamond. Bandar project diamond, Hirabuddin project gold, and Jaduguda project uranium. Which of the following are correct? Bandar project, Hirabuddin project, gold and Jaduguda project, uranium. Your answer to the QI it is your um, which of the following are correct? Hirabuddin gold, Bandar diamond, all are correct. D for Delhi. We'll discuss then Buluthinelu, a near extinct rice variant is predominantly grown in which state? Bulithinello. The Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala and Telangana. It is your C. We will discuss. Bandha project was recently in news when the mining giant Rio Tinto decided the shutdown 2200 crore diamond mining project in Madhya Pradesh. 2200 crore mining project in Madhya Pradesh. The Bundar. The Bundar. Diamond project was discovered in 2004 by Australia based mining major and 2010 it linked an agreement with the Madhya Pradesh for the development of the project. Hutti and Utti in Karnataka and Hirabuddin mines in Jharkhand are the only coal producing mines in India. Hutti and Utti in Karnataka.
जादूगुड़ा इन झारखंड इज नोन फॉर योर इरानियम माइंस है ना जादूगुड़ा इन झारखंड इज नोन फॉर योर इरानियम माइंस जादूगुड़ा इज नोन फॉर योर योर इरानियम माइंस पर्टिकुलरली जादूगुड़ा माइंस पर्टिकुलरली जादूगुड़ा ना जादूगुड़ा माइंस योर इरानियम माइंस इज नोन फॉर योर इरानियम माइंस Bulutinello, a rice variety, belongs to exclusively to Atapadi and is presently available with view very few tribal farmers in your Solayur Panchayat. Hello, Solayur Panchayat Ram. Okay, it is now near extinct rice variant because of the large scale mm -hmm. land alienation and adverse climatic conditions. Which forced to tribal people in Atapedi to stop cultivating both offland and lowland rice variety. Bulutunelu, basically, it was in news. It belongs to the to Atapedi and is presently available. Very few tribal farmers of Solayur Panchayat. It is now near extinct rice variant because of large scale. Land alienation, uh, land alienations, and adverse climatic conditions. The last scale land alienation lies, and adverse climatic conditions, which force the tribal people in Atapedi. Atapedi to stop cultivation of both offland and lowland rice varieties, particularly. लार्ज स्केल सब जगह इंडिया रे प्राय बुलुथु नेलु बोले स्टार्ट इंग्लैंड जोटा की पर्टिकुलरली लार्ज स्केल लैंड एलिएशन नेशन रोचे एंड एडवर्स क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस हला एडवर्स क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन एंड इनविटेशन फोर्स टू ट्राइबल पीपल इन अटापेडी टू स्टॉप कल्टीवेशन बोथ ऑफलैंड एंड लोलैंड राइस वैरायटीज Then the question next. Consider the following interstate river water dispute with states to which are associated. Kuti, Tungabhadra water dispute, hala Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Bhavani river water dispute, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Then, Madhya, um, then Mahadei River Water Dispute, it is Karnataka and Goa. Hala, Mahadei River Water Dispute in Karnataka and Goa. Which of the following is your correct? Tungabhadra between your Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, Bhavani water dispute, Kerala. Hello, Mahadaya and Karnataka and Bhavani, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. So here it is all are correct. Which of the following regions in India best suited for two cotton cultivation? Deccan Plateau, Northeast India, 
इंडो गैंजेटिक प्लेन ईस्ट कोस्टल प्लेन डेक्कन प्लेट्यू ए करेक्ट महादेई महादेई रिवर और इट इज मांडोवी रिवर आपको कहा जाए महादेई रिवर और मांडोवी रिवर वाटर डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द स्टेट्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटक एंड गोवा है ना Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Goa over the 30 years old Chinti Tungabhadra water dispute between the states of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh Tungabhadra river Andhra Pradesh Bhavani river dispute between the Tamil Nadu and Kerala these are the all long standing water disputes these are all the long standing water disputes Then Deccan Plateau, Jadim Koyvi, Deccan Plateau. Black soil considered with the black based cotton cultivation. Black soil is mainly found in black cotton Deccan Plateau. The most cotton cultivation is confined to the regions. However, cotton also grows well in alluvial soil and Satluz Ganga plain. Hello. Deccan Plateau, which is Satlus Ganga Plain, there is red dotted soils. Deccan Plateau, Deccan Plateau, which is the same. Mostly Deccan Plateau, cover Kurchi. Telangana. Maharashtra. Andhra. Tamil Nadu. Southern Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, about 70% of the total cotton is produced in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh.
about 70 percent of the total uh, cotton is produced in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Telangana, and Andhra Pradesh. Next, next question that is your Omkareswar project. Omkareswar hydroelectric power hydropower project. Omkareswar. Is associated with which of the following rivers? Luni, Narmada, Chambal, and Sabarmati. Luni, Narmada, Chambal, and Sabarmati. B for Bombay. Na, Omkareswar, it is your Narmada. Which Indian state has its name from the five rivers that once flowed through the state? Na, that is. Which Indian state has its name from the five rivers that once flowed through the state that is your Punjab? We will see B for Bombay. Hydro Omkareswar hydroelectric project is the Omkareswar hydroelectric project situated near the Omkareswar temple in Mandata village in Khandwa district of Madhya Pradesh, basically. Hello, Omkareswar project jadi hello, Omkareswar hydroelectric project. Omkareswar hydroelectric project in the Khandwa district of Madhya Pradesh. This hydroelectric project built over the Narmada river. Hello, this hydroelectric project is built over the Narmada river. Punjab is one of the richest state of India and the origin of its name of the five richest river once flowed through the state. The river is Rabi, Bees, Chennav, Jhelam and Satluj. Rabi, Bees, Chennav, Jhelam and Satluj. Post independence part of Punjab now lies in Pakistan but still retains the name same. Same name. Post independence time Punjab. Punjab uh, Sin province retains the Diagram it is more clarity arrival. This is your index. Yeah, these are the Indus and uh, her tributaries. Uh, your uh, left bank tributaries. So they are part of the Banja lies in Pakistan, but still retain the same name, particularly.
ठीक है जो सिंध प्रोविंस पर्टिकुलरली पंजाब जो प्रोविंस तो थी ला पंजाब प्रोविंस इज बेसिकली दिस पर्सन सेरियन एंड करेंटली है ना पंजाब आज इस स्टेट इन इंडिया पर्टिकुलर तो क्योंकि वो पंजाब आज इस स्टेट इंडिया एंड बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस इट इज इट एक्वेस द ओल्ड पार्ट ऑफ पार्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान ओल्ड पार्ट ऑफ योर पाकिस्तान तो वर्तमान दिस इज द मोस्ट फर्टाइल ग्राउंड फर्टाइल प्लेस दिस इज द मोस्ट फर्टाइल प्लेस ऑफ ये फर्टाइल प्लेस है ना नेक्स्ट लास्ट टू क्वेश्चंस देखिए दिस इज द फॉलोइंग इज द फर्स्ट नेशनल वाटरवे इन इंडिया विथ 24 फोर आवर्स नेविगेशन फैसिलिटी है ना फर्स्ट नेशनल वाटर इन इंडिया फर्स्ट नेशनल वाटरवे जो दी इंडिया देखो इट इस एनडब्ल्यू वन है ना नेशनल वाटरवे वन विल डिस्कस दिस वन नेक्स्ट व्हाट इस द अप्रोक्सिमेट परसेंटेज ऑफ टोटल पापुलेशन इन इंडिया इज अर्बन आज ऑफ नाउ अर्बन कितना दैट इस 26 परसेंट 35 49 53 इट इस बी फॉर बॉम्बे 35 परसेंट सॉरी आ 24 hour navigation facility. I'm sorry, it is uh, not. Liquid is. It is not uh, water. It is national navigation. What national water with three? Is Kochi Kolam. The West Coast Canal or the National Waterway three. Is 205 kilometer stretch of this inland navigation route from Kerala, India that runs from Kollam to Kottapuram and was declared national waterway in 1993. Hello. Kochi to Kolam. Was declared waterway. It is the first national waterway in country where the 24 navigation uh, facilities along the like 24 hours uh, navigation facilities along the entire stretch it has been extended to koji port particularly as per the national waterway act like the national waterway work liquid it is the like, most busiest like. is the busiest waterway or navigation canal is the busiest waterway or the navigation canal so that is Kochi to Koji code and with Kochi to Koji code 
एंड फर्दर जो देखा बर्तमान गवर्नमेंट रो मैक्सिमम जो रेवेन्यू कलेक्शन हो वन ऑफ़ द लीडिंग नेशनल वाटरवे नेशनल वाटरवे थ्री है अर्बन पपुलेसन देखिए अबाउट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट अफ द टोटाल पपुलेसन अफ इंडिया इज अर्बन अर्बानाइजेसन इन इंडिया बिगेन टू एक्सिलेट आफ्टर इंडिपेडेन्स है अर्बानाइजेसन जो प्रोसेसटा दैट बिगे टू एक्सिलेट इन इंडिया आफ्टर इंडिपेडेन्स due to the country's adoption of mixed economy which gave rise to the development of the private sector so the population residing in the urban areas in india according to 1901 census particularly la according to me kon koli it is 1901 census let me find la according to 1901 census particularly 11. Four percent increasing to twenty-eight point five three percent by two thousand one census, and now currently thirty-four percent particularly, and it is now current. I will repeat it once again. According to nineteen zero one census, eleven point four percent increasing to twenty-eight. I mean, when we were in nineteen zero one census, eleven point four percent. hala so it was increasing to it was 11.4 urbanization we like you urbanization was 11.4% particularly hala 11.4% thala or the leave you better thala hala urbanization jadu koi bhi परसेंटेज हिसाब से 11.4 देन ठीक जदि मने भी ठीक 100 इयर्स परे दैट इज 2001 सेंसस रे इट इज नियर अबाउट 28.53 परसेंट है ना नाउ इन 2021 इट इज नियर अबाउट वी कैन से 35 है ना सेंसस रिपोर्ट बाहर नहीं बट थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट समथिंग और वी कैन से थर्टी फाइव टू थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट नियर अबाउट वी कैन से सेंसस बाहर नहीं बट इज एक्सपेक्टेड इट इज मोर देन थर्टी फाइव परसेंट वी कैन से इट इज मोर देन थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो वी कैन से ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन इंडिया इट इज नाउ थर्टी और मोर देन थर्टी इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन इंडिया इज मोर सो Now currently 34 percent in the World Bank. That's for the World Bank. So, urbanisation. So that means India is slowly getting urbanised, hella, than others, than others, hella. Maybe uh, we are come out from the an agrarian, hella, agrarian economy. एग्रेडियम इकोनॉमी टू इंडस्ट्रियलाइज है ना पर्टिकुलर मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल्स आर गेटिंग दे आर एम्प्लॉयड इन द सेक्टर्स इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर्स एंड आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस थ्रू द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ योर फाइव इयर प्लान्स वी आर मच वी आर मच मींस आई मीन वी आर मच promoted we are much empowered to do uh, our industrial activity with the vast space and lots of people are also engaged there in this activity and thanks to mahalo nabis committee those after that who those were implementing in other sector okay ठीक अच्छे आज इतनी विल डिस्कस दिस इज द वे जमी मुझे पढ़ल आई होप यू ऑल हैव एन गेट थ्रू कि हाउ टू अटेम द क्वेश्चंस एंड हाउ टू डिस्कस जमी आज बैस टा क्वेश्चन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड विल ऑल टोटल बाय डिस्कशंस विल गेट नियर अबाउट मोर देन फिफ्टी क्वेश्चंस है दैट इज द वे
जोटा कि हमरो पढ़ाई प्रोसेस ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच वेल मीट अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच